This video is about when you mentally check out of a relationship. I'll explain what typically happens when you have mentally and emotionally checked out of a relationship with someone. To find out more, please stay tuned to this video. Welcome to the SEG Show. Please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and turn your life around with better help. The link is in the description down below. What does it mean to mentally check out of a relationship? It's detaching yourself from your partner mentally, but physically you're still there. You may often wonder why you're still with them, but you just are and plod along aimlessly, flogging a dead horse. Sometimes there are excuses behind staying, but mentally checking out, such as, we're going on vacation soon, their birthday's coming up, Valentine's Day is coming up, Christmas is coming up, we have a really nice apartment. My friend's wedding is approaching. I don't want to go single. We've got a mortgage together. We're getting married soon. We have children. Like a zombie, people persist and in the back of their mind, hope and pray that things will miraculously improve. The harsh and sad reality is, things rarely improve or ever get any better. I used to be in a toxic relationship with a narcissist for many years. However, the last few months of that relationship, I could safely say I had mentally checked out for sure. Towards the end, I had a huge work project going on which took up a lot of my time and energy and focus. Coincidentally, I was constantly clashing and arguing with the narcissist, which only made me more stressed in the entire relationship. But my focus was on my work, and when things were finally complete in my project, I had the energy back and the capacity to realize how toxic the relationship was. And using logic, I walked away from that ex, never to go back. I know exactly what it's like to be a zombie-like person in a relationship, to assume things will change somehow miraculously for the better, and to mentally check out as well. So if you're resonating with this video, please write down in the comments below your experience. Here are some typical signs that you may be going through similar or you've just come to this realization. Please don't forget to subscribe and also hit that bell notification so you never miss any of my videos. Just like the Pink Floyd song, when you mentally check out of a relationship, you become comfortably numb. Now the song may refer to drugs, but in this context, you're actually almost numb to what is going on and what's happening to you. You're physically in that relationship, for sure. You have no idea what's going on, where you're going or what you're feeling. For example, you may kiss your partner, but feel nothing. You may sleep with them, feel nothing. The spark is well and truly gone. I'm not referring to attraction here. I'm talking about all forms of connection. What was once a person you cared for, deeply loved, would have done anything for, is now a stranger. This, in my opinion, can happen gradually after one too many arguments, or a form of betrayal like cheating, or because you've settled, or because you've forced something that should never have been forced. Perhaps you've settled with a person riddled with red flags and toxic behaviors. Maybe you've gone against your better judgment so long that you've almost disgusted with yourself without knowing and you've just gone against everything you stand for. Of course, the reason I mentally checked out on my toxic relationship was it was toxic and I dated a narcissist. And anybody who's done that can relate to that misery and numbness. The last few months of dating her was like a blur. I had brief moments and flashbacks and granted it's been a few years now, yet I was so numb. I distinctly remember her waffling on about herself or some other crap over dinner and me nodding away mentally checked out. I actually used to picture myself on a desert island as she spoke and for love of money I could not tell you what she was talking about. I would just go away, drift away to my happy place in my mind. I've been informed by many others they too have felt the same when it comes to mentally checking out of a relationship that they're just comfortably numb, bored, isolated. Now if you have mentally checked out of your relationship but are afraid to do so, I'd like to tell you about my sponsor BetterHelp. I've personally used BetterHelp and found them so effective for turning my life around for the better after toxic relationships. 
It's an online portal that provides direct-to-consumer access to behavioral health services. The online services are provided through web-based interaction such as phone and text communication. With BetterHelp, you get four live sessions a month and unlimited messaging in between sessions, as well as access to group therapy webinars, which are updated each and every single week. You can sign up for the BetterHelp online counseling service in the description below. By using that link, you'll be supporting my channel and I'll give you 10% off your first month too. So get on with your life, leave that relationship, turn your life around with BetterHelp. The link is in the description just down below. Emotionless is synonymous with mentally checking out of a relationship. You could be in bed with your partner, you feel nothing. They could give you an expensive lavish gift, nothing. They could shower you with affection, nothing. They could promise you the world, but nothing. They could do a grand gesture of love and you feel nothing. This is not just applied to those who are in toxic relationship. This could be with any partner in any scenario. Years ago, there was a woman I was dating who was nice on paper, but just not quite right for me. She was lovely, but something just didn't click with us. We gave it a serious go, but it wasn't going to happen. I'll never forget one day we went shopping together and there we were holding hands. She glanced over and smiled. I felt nothing towards her. She was so attractive, lovely. That chemistry just felt wrong. Then we walked into a restaurant and she insisted, this is on me, I want to spoil you. I wanted to feel overwhelmed and of course appreciative, but again, I felt like I was forcing it. Then I realized what it was. Deep down, I just didn't see myself settling down with her long term, getting married, etc. I waited until after the meal and we went home to have the serious talk, where she was disappointed but also shocked to hear what I had to tell her. I had no choice and I said to her the following, Recently, I've just not felt present in this relationship. Like my mind, my heart is elsewhere. Not on another woman, it's just elsewhere. I feel like I'm forcing things. When you feel bored, nothing towards them, I'm not saying you've got to be excited 24-7, that's unrealistic, that's immature. But if you're not even having that deep emotional connection, that emotional bond, I'm not talking about lust here, I'm talking about a deep rooted one, maybe about their personality, their character, their little traits, something about them, you've mentally checked out of your relationship. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video and support my channel by becoming an official member. The link for memberships is just down below in the description. It should come as no surprise at all that when you mentally check out of a relationship, you'll become more irritable, annoyed and distant towards that person. And of course, way more so if your partner and relationship are toxic. Let me share my experience with you. Dating a narcissist is draining, stressful and difficult. They are notorious drama queens, manipulators, they will gaslight, abuse and hurt you in many ways. All that will compound over time, slowly and surely you have enough of that BS. You've tried talking to them, nothing's worked. You've tried changing, nothing's improved. You've begged, pleaded, nothing's got better. Perhaps you've even given in and believed their false promises, only for them to behave even worse and push the envelope even more. Narcissists feed off supply and reactions, being upset, etc. It's something they crave. When I mentally checked out of my toxic relationship, I was far more irritable and angrier than ever. I'd snap at everyone I could, from friends, family, strangers on the street. One time I snapped at a waiter for no reason, that's how irritable I was. And of course, I was fighting with that person more and more. We argued daily, clashed all the time. It was miserable, utter hell. Because essentially, I was persisting with a person who wasn't right for me. You'll never be good enough for the wrong person. Now, let's assume your relationship is not toxic and your partner's not a narcissist, for example. You can still grow resentment and irritable towards that person because really you're settling and forcing things that are not right, not natural, you're not a good match. You may snap at them and others due to your deep lying, unsatisfying situation, which is never a good sign. You're settling, you're forcing it, you're just like, oh, you know, whatever it is, what it is. That never works. 
trust me. Regardless of whether they are toxic or the spark has just gone or was never there in the first place, what's the solution to when you mentally check out of a relationship? How do you make things right? How do you improve things? If your relationship is toxic and therefore contributed to you mentally checking out, then you need to physically check out. Leave them before inevitably and eventually they will walk away from you. All toxic relationships end one way or another and the justification for staying is not worth it. Walk away, do some healing, recovery on yourself first before you're ready to date again. Now let's assume your relationship's not toxic at all. Ask yourself the following questions. What attracted you to your partner in the first place? Are your needs being genuinely met? Are your reasons immature for mentally checking out? Is an outside toxic influence encouraging you to leave? Have things got stale because you've had a lot of things going on like work, etc.? Do you two need a break from the house, from the family, from the kids to reignite your passion? Look and analyze your situation before you make any rash decision. Sometimes life can compound on us and we could take it out on our loved ones without realizing too. And after doing so, then can you realize if you need to walk away from them to find somebody better suited for you romantically and so on.